I'm Rantasmo, and Downton Abbey needs more gay. I am a nerd of many things, but I have to admit that I've never been much of a history nerd. I know that history is important, not repeating our mistakes and all that, but that doesn't mean that it's not kind of boring and depressing. As such, I've never been a huge fan of period dramas. By which I mean TV shows whose main conceit is that they're set in the past, not like dramas about periods. Dawson's Flow. I don't think I'm alone in this. As kids, I think that most of my generation knew that the Disney Channel Marathon was over when Road to Avonlea came on. I like to imagine that somewhere light years away, some alien microphones will one day pick up the sound of millions of children groaning in unison. <sighs> Downton Abbey is a period piece above all else. It is early 20th century hat porn. And on paper, it sounds like the most boring show on earth. It follows a fictional British aristocratic family and their servants, and much of the first two seasons concerns who will inherit the titular estate. The stakes are fairly low, and yet it somehow works. It is inexplicably addictive. Never before has a show made such an engaging affair out of truly the whitest of all white people problems. Oh no, we might have to live in a house that is slightly less hilariously opulent than this one. Downton Abbey does a couple of interesting things with its gay character Thomas the Footman. The show establishes very early on that Thomas is gay, and after that it almost never comes up again. If you hadn't seen the first episode, you might not even know that he has a sexuality. This makes a certain amount of sense, because being gay in 1912 was probably super not fun. And the fact that Thomas has supportive friends and any sort of sex life might be far-fetched, if anything. The other interesting thing about Thomas is that Thomas is an asshole. Thomas comes from a long line of gay assholes. Brian Kinney from Queer as Folk, Sebastian from Glee, that one guy from Lost, basically every Roman emperor, all giant assholes. Gay villains are nothing new, and while they can sometimes be problematic, when it's implied that their sexuality is what makes them depraved and psychotic, I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with having a queer character who does unspeakably bad things. We don't get a sense that Thomas is a bad person because he's gay. In fact, it seems like his sexuality has little bearing on his life at all. He's just generally a bad person. In a way, characters like Thomas help to demystify being gay. Thomas is human, just like the rest of us, and sometimes humans are terrible to each other. Sometimes they have weird, hateful grudges against people with limps. Thomas just helps fill in that particular space in the puzzle. I don't think Downton Abbey breaks the mold when it comes to period dramas, but it does demonstrate that genres of TV aren't always what they seem. People, on the other hand, often are. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs>